Hit Film Zensei here. Today we're going to talk about how to make a fast moving lightsaber effect. So I have a six second piece of raw footage here and I'm going to make it into a composite shot by right clicking it, make composite shot and click OK. So now I have this six second piece of footage where I have the lightsaber prop and it's sitting still and then zip, it moves really quickly and then it's sitting still for the rest of the shot. So the sitting still parts are easy. That's what we've done previously. But this piece right here, this quickly moving blurred effect, you can't really get the computer to track that, so you're going to have to do it manually. Now, I did a real quick one. And it's only about 10 frames worth of actual movement, so it should be pretty easy to manually keyframe, and that's what you're going to have to do. But if you have a big lightsaber fight going on, it's going to take a lot longer than that. So let's go ahead and do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this raw footage into three pieces. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to slice it here, slice, and then I'm going to slide down until it kind of stops. And then I'm going to slice it again. So now this piece, this first one is a static shot. And so I can just kind of call it static. This third piece is also a static shot, so I can call it static, but this middle piece, these 10 frames in here, this is action right here, so we're gonna call this action, okay? Now, I still wanna create my point layers. I'm gonna create a point layer, and I'm gonna call this one hilt, and I'm gonna create a point layer and call this one tip, you see? And one of them will be to track the hilt, and one of them will be to track the tip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing that I did previously. I'm going to go to my first static line. This is here on number three now. And I'm going to create a new track. And I want to call it Hilt. Okay. And then I'm going to move in using my mouse wheel. I'm going to drag this down here and just make sure it's exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to track it forward over these few frames. And then I'm going to transform it to the hilt and click apply. So now if you look at the hilt point and you look at the actual position, you can see all these keyframes, but none here, you see? Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with the tip. So I'm going to come back, new tracking point, and I'm going to call it tip. And then we're going to back up. I'm going to move this thing using my right mouse button, drag this up here where the tip is. I'm going to place it very carefully on the edge of the tip there. And then I'm going to run that one. And again, it'll track it all the way up until it just starts getting ready to move. And then we end. So we'll apply that to the tip. And now if you look at the tip point, you can see all those points are there. Now we're going to do the same thing with this second or the number five here, the second static shot. So starting with track. I'm going to create a new track. I'm going to call it Hilt again. And I'm going to come on back down here. I'm going to find where it is. And we're going to put it right there. And track it. And it's going to track pretty well. It looks like it's good enough for government work today. Uh, and we let this track all the way through. And then we will apply that again to the Hilt and click Apply. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add another one, calling it tip. And we're going to come up here, dragging this over here. And we're going to actually put this, I'm going to reset back here, uh, where this is at the tip on the edge. And then we're going to track that one forward. And it's looking pretty good. I'm liking it, so it should work fairly well. And then as soon as that's done, we will, just as before, transform that to the tip point and hit apply. So now, if you actually look at the tip one, you can see that all the points are tracked except for our action piece right there. And if you look at the hilt one, all the points are tracked except for our action piece. So I'm going to come back right to here. I'm going to give us a little bit of an expansion so we can kind of see how much we're working with here. And now, guess what? We are going to need, back to viewer, we are going to actually need to manually put that on there. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to just move this. 
and I'm setting a new whoops I'm setting a new position point right here well where'd he go I don't know he's here somewhere uh, oh he's the hilt sorry my uh, bad we'll start with the hilt okay all right and there it is so we're gonna move in and we're going to just put it about there I'm gonna use the period key to just advance four to frame and I'm just gonna do this for all ten frames ah, and we're just the key here is you got to put these on the leading edge of the blade on the leading edge of the blur of the blade you see and as long as you do that things will be dandy right here and I hate to say this but I think we're just about there yes we are look at that okay so now as I scrub through that you can see that it's following now let's go and do the same thing with a tip position and we're gonna roll on up here position and you can see again that's tracked there and now it's off so we're gonna bring it over here and put it on the leading edge of that tip right there leading edge about right there and about right there and whoops I see dude moved out of frame so we're gonna and now it's about right there and about right there and you can see how much that's blurring right but that's okay because the software is going to take care of that for us see and about right there and right about there and one more right about there okay and now we have it completely tracked so now I can go ahead and scale back out and look at this that point is following beautifully everything after that is the same as we did previously so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new layer of plane make sure it's black call it blade I'm going to drop in my light sword to whoops my light sword two point auto onto that blade plane right I need to change the uh, layer properties so that the blend mode is screen uh, and then under the light sword effect we're gonna assign the hilt to the hilt point and we're going to assign the tip to the tip point we're gonna make sure that's zeroed out we probably want to expand that a little bit make it as big as the thing maybe 32 uh, we're going to make this maybe 25 on the tip of course we have to make the core white uh, click OK and I think this time last time I made a blue lightsaber let's make a green one this time we'll just make a green inner glow and then we'll make a sort of a lighter green maybe outer glow okay and now here we have our effect now the blades been assigned and we can see yeah lovely now the problem is that during that fanning part right here the blade itself doesn't actually fan like it should you see so what you do is you come down here to the auto scale persistence and you just dial in this minimum persistence a little bit you just start turning this and it will cause it to fan for you until you like about where it's at that looks pretty good and yeah see so the computer can kind of take care of that fanning for you as long as you tell it to and so now we have the whole thing I think that looks pretty good uh, we'll play it one time see what it looks like fantastic and that is how you make a fast moving lightsaber blade any questions drop them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching